we're gonna make chia pudding, nice and simple. You're gonna need chia seeds, obviously, and then a plant milk. Uh, I like to do coconut milk for this one because it makes it creamy again. So, because coconut milk can be really thick, so today I just put 100 milliliters of uh, coconut milk and then um, the rest I put water. But again, you can use also like oat milk. Um, if you live in Europe, you can put like oatly, the ikafe, that's like really nice and thick or any plant milk really, um, like soy milk or anything. So you're gonna take four tablespoons of the chia seeds. You're gonna put them in a closable glass jar, preferably. It's two, it's kind of loud. Three, so I don't go mix with the cup. So four tablespoons of the seeds. And then you're just gonna pour your plant milk in there and you can mix it. And then you're gonna close the jar. So what happens with chia seeds, they uh, when they're dry, they're like really small and now you see like it's really liquidy. But when you let it set for a couple of hours, the chia seeds take the liquid inside and they become like swollen and that's what makes like a really ni nice pudding consistency. So you might wanna like mix it up um, meanwhile or afterwards. And then um, I'm gonna show you how you can top it up, how you can make like nice looking desserts or snacks if you wish to. So guys, it's time to check on our chia pudding. So the chia pudding that we prepped earlier is been sitting in the fridge for a couple of hours. And now as you can see, it's got that nice pudding-like consistency. Um, so what we wanna do is we wanna mix it. So we wanna make sure that we um, get like a smooth pudding and there's not like some dry areas. So you just mix it, you see it's like nice proper pudding, but chia seed does, when it, uh, it gets in touch with liquid, it swallows the liquid in itself and it becomes this awesome pudding. The easiest way, honestly guys, is now you see I have this jar, this is like the perfect size. So what I could do, I could just, what I would do, if I wouldn't want to try to make it nice, I would just put my toppings on top here, so I would put um, again, up to you what you like. I would look like a banana and some berries, which we're gonna do. But you can just pop your toppings in there. Obviously, chia seed itself is already like um, a lot of good fats and protein, so you maybe don't wanna like put any more like nut butters and nuts or anything like seeds or stuff like that. So maybe I stick with like uh, berries, banana, any other fruits that you like, some like healthy jams or something. So you could just put it there and then how awesome is this on the go? So you could just put your toppings, close the jar. It's like a, a, a breakfast you can have if you make it the, the night before. You can stop it in the morning. Or if you're you know, uh, on the go, if you're, you're in a rush, you can just take it with you. Super, super easy. And then you can eat it later on as a snack. But you have probably seen like this awesome looking chia puddings where you have like different layers and that. Um, I'm gonna try to make one to make it look nice, but Please don't judge me. Um, in our Bali kitchen equipment, this is like the fanciest glass that I can have. So you probably have some nicer jars and glasses in your kitchen that you can make. But basically what you can do if you're making like, um, you're having friends over or you wanna make like, just wanna make it nice looking for Instagram or something, you can just put like uh, different layers. So what I have here is frozen berries. Um, I'm just gonna put a little bit of them in my glass then I'm gonna put a little bit of our chia pudding let's see how we go I've never done this before on top there see how nice pudding like consistency then I'm gonna put a little bit of banana I love bananas. I am like a monkey. I just put bananas in everything, especially here. It's nice. We have banana trees literally in our garden, so can't go more local organic than that, right? Make sure if you live in a country that doesn't have bananas that you buy organic and fair trade. So you are supporting the fair trade system and the organic. You're making sure that it's um, 
sustainably grown, doesn't have pesticides in that. So I'm just going to put a layer of bananas in there. Then, not sure if it looks that much nicer to be honest, but I'm trying my best to make it a little bit more fancy. I'm going to put another layer of chia pudding. And then just a little bit more of my berries. Got some blueberries, strawberries, oops, blackberries, roseberries. So guys, as said, you can probably make it much nicer if you have like better jars. But um, it's my first time actually do this. It still looks kind of cool, right? It has like different colors, different layers. So then you can have like this uh, dessert spoon to serve it for your friends, for your family. Um, and then, yeah, I could probably make another portion just barely with this one. So the amount that I put here is like for one person. And if you make it for two people, just double it up, uh, etc., to make enough of the pudding. You can also use the pudding however you like. You can put it on top of your porridge, you can put it in smoothies. Uh, so be creative, but this is just an example. healthy, fancy-ish looking uh, breakfast, snack, dessert, wherever you want to have it. Enjoy!